What's up, guys? Welcome back to the first take. Now, we just saw Spy. What do you think? What I was expecting, I was expecting just, you know, I suppose my biggest problem is when I'm watching the film such a spy, it was 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes into it, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? This is just too bland for me. It's really? Yeah, it just felt like that. But yeah. then, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. but me. then, sometimes you just got to allow yourself to just switch off. You've got to switch off and just accept what this is all about. And it is a crazy fun film. And once you accept that, that's it. The, the journey never stops as far as I'm concerned. It was just amazing, funny lines all the way through. Mm. Melissa was amazing. Um, who was the um, a, a new actress, that um, her, um, her co-assistant? Her co-assistant? Oh, yeah. um, Miranda Hart. A lot of the British viewers will know about Miranda Hart. She uh, does a lot of UK sitcoms and comedies and things like that. But I think this is a Hollywood debut. And I was I was really weird to think how she would fit within this world of, you know, a big Hollywood comedy. But it worked. State and stole yeah. this movie for me. Did, did State and really? stole for me. At first, I was a little worried, like, hmm. But I think every time he turned up, he was so ridiculous and just inept. I know. And always just... Comp- continuously fucking up that I just loved it. Like, yeah. I had to say, I enjoyed Staten. And he was like the the sleeper star of this film for me. Yeah, okay. And I want to see a spin-off. It's showed because Staten never does comedy. That's what I like. He never does comedy. This is the first time he's ever done it. And it showed that with the right script, directed the right way, in the right circumstance, it works. And I want to see a, a spy film of Jason Staten playing this type of character. Sure. Just okay. fucking up his way. Okay. I would like to see that as well. But for me... The chemistry between Melissa and Steven didn't work. It really? just, yeah, it just no, didn't not work. No, I get, no, guys, no, no. I'm, I'm willing to switch off, but for me, it just did not work. It did not. I, I, I just don't think Stephen could execute comedy in the right way. I just didn't see it. But he took him. What I think worked with his comedy is that it was he was serious. He wasn't doing the jokes. The duh, 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 duh. He was just playing the straight man, but it was a soul pompous and ridiculous and that's what made it funny i thought i liked it i okay, liked it okay, okay. you know there's a segment of um of the, the film where it's roseburn and melissa mccartney kind of together for a good chunk and the way they're bouncing off of each other the witty lines that was cool melissa works with everybody including staten that didn't see it i don't well, look, overall uh, there is there is another side to this film um, or another another area that I think that it's important to 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 look into, which is the the whole thing, the, the fight scenes in the film. Surprising, yeah. Surprising. And, and, and I didn't bring this up before; it's come to mind now. But the, I saw I saw Melissa as, and the fight scenes. It was almost as if a, a woman version of Summer Hunt. Because she's fat. No, that I did not say that. You fat. said that. I did not say that. He's thinking that's not me, but that's what I. Well, anyway, that's well, look, that's how I saw it. It's got nothing to do with disappointed. Well, look, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Okay, let's just. What about Jude Law? Let's, let's keep this going. What about Jude? Law? Jude Law. Jude Law. Okay, Jude Law is like you know. I think he played it perfectly. Yeah, it wasn't in much. It was. It's not giving away to say anything, but it wasn't in a whole lot. It was Melissa's show. She was running this, but yeah, when he was in it, I think he where I've seen Jude Law in a comedy before. He's had films that have had comedic elements in it. What was the one that he had a while back, about a year ago or two? Him, something Hemingway, Dom yeah. Hemingway. I, I so he went to see. Yeah, that was. Yeah, he was pretty damn funny. That one's a British. What was your final thoughts for this film? Did you enjoy it, and would you okay. recommend it? I needed. I needed time to take it in. So now that I've had a little while, like you know, an hour or two, I actually want to kind of see it again. Mm. I would like to see it again. I would like to do another review on my second take on it. So, but overall, I just think it's it's uh, an awesome film that, you know, couples would really enjoy it, I think. Yeah. You, you know, just, yeah. just, you know, it's not just for the ladies, not just for the guys. I think it's just a nice film to go out to watch as a couple. Yeah, it's for everybody. It, it really is. It's not over the top for guys or the women. It's just perfect. Not that we saw it as a couple. Don't get the wrong idea, people. Purely 
platonic. There were a lot of women that are screening. A lot of women. But I think that's just the Melissa McCarthy's demographic. She appeals to a lot. I guess she's relatable. And she's likable to everybody. Yeah. But yeah, so how many stars do you give it out of five? Um, I'm, I'm going to go for a three-star movie. Really? Yeah, I'm going to go for a three-star movie. It didn't, you know, I enjoyed it, but it didn't just blow me away. I've seen better comedies, but it was fun. It was fun all the way through, but I would still give it a three-star film. Now, notoriously, when I give my ratings, 24 hours later, I completely changed my mind. You know, I gave Tomorrowland four stars, but now I feel it only really deserves three I gave oh, Avengers yeah. five stars on the second viewing, and I feel it only really deserves a light four. A light four. This, I'm going to give four. And I'm going to stay by it because this entertained me greatly. Four stars. Four stars. He's going to change four his stars. mind tomorrow. He's going to change four his mind stars. tomorrow. It's a three star movie. Check it out. See what you guys think. Four stars. Yeah, if you like the video, let us know. Once you see it, put your comment down below. Tell him, let him know that he is wrong. It's a four-star movie. Eddie, you're right. <laughs> if you like the video, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. I'm Eddie Reese. And this has been our first take to spy.